Hello and welcome back to Franknet Sewing Machines YouTube channel. Uh, I'm James and I'm going to show you the new Brother A16. So I'm just going to run you through what it comes with, um, how to get it threaded and then uh, some of the nice features that come with this particular model. So I'll start by showing you what comes in the box. So we have lots included, so things like instruction manual, which is obviously very important. We have um, four bobbins, um, we've also got the foot control and a power lead. Now this particular machine, you don't actually need the foot pedal, but um, so you've got the choice because we do have a start button, which I'll sh show you shortly. Um, we also have a soft dust cover and then a nice selection of feet. So we have the buttonhole foot, the zipper foot, a blind hem foot and a button sew on foot and an overcasting, over edge foot. So we have selection of needles, twin needles, and then screwdriver, um, a brush, seam ripper, an extra spool holder for when you are using that twin needle, um, and then another screwdriver, but this was a round one, mainly for undoing the, the needle plate with that. We have a spool net, um, and yeah, that's everything you get in the box, so pretty much everything you need to get started. So let me uh, get the machine set up and just show you how easy that is to do. So we'll start by winding a bobbin. So we'll just pop this in here. Like so we'll grab a bobbin that's not wound. And so I want to come over and look a bit closer so you can see the process. So it's all numbered. And so the first one is just under the, that little hook there. And then we go into number two, which is just here. And there's a little diagram here showing you how this needs to go. Um, so it actually goes under there, and then just under that tension disc. So you sometimes just have to pull it in to make sure it's just sat underneath there. You can then wind it around a few times, like so. We push it across, and make sure I put my spool stop on, so it doesn't fly off. And then we just press go. And again, we can, tr can, tr can control the speed with the speed dial here. So, it's as easy as that. You can leave that on and it will then stop once it gets full by just pushing against here. So, but we don't need to fill one up for this. So then you've got a little cutter as well, just in there to cut it off. So that's nice and easy. Now this is a top loading bobbin. So you just have to push that lever across to take this lid off. And then you literally just drop the bobbin in, like so. And again, there's a little image here, so you can't forget how to do it. And you literally then just pass it through the guide. And there's, again, just a little cutter on the end. So you've got no excess thread. And that's the bottom done. So then we'll go back to the top. So you can unthread where we were for the bobbin. So again, it goes into number one, into number two. We then go straight down, back up again. Go from right to left, so it goes into the take-up lever. Back down. And then we've got a number six just down here that you might not be able to see on camera. That just goes into there. And now with the new model, because this is kind of um, very similar to the Innovis 15, but it's got a few nice little extra bits to it. So one of those is the new needle threader. So once you've got to this stage, you just go into there, into number seven, you use the cutter on the side, like so. And then we just push this lever and it threads the needle for us. So really nice and easy and that's ready to go. So then we're ready to sew. So we can pick up the thread just as normal. We have a needle up needle down button so we can just press that once, press it again and we're, we're ready to go. Um, and so stitch selection is with this dial here. So we have 16 stitches on this particular model and it's nice and easy. You literally just turn the dial to the number that you want and then it presets a length and a width for you. Now you can override this with these buttons here um, that one's your length, that one's your width. But every time you go back to it, even if you've adjusted it, it always go back to the default, so the stitch will look exactly as it should, as it's shown on here, which is really nice. So if we just do a straight stitch, number two. Um, and so then all we do is press go. And the great thing about this being a computerized machine is the speed control. So we've got this little dial here. go rather fast as well so and it will probably sound a little bit noisier on camera than it does in real life for some reason the microphone just picks up the sound a bit more than usual um, so yeah um, what else have we got 
So the start button is the option obviously to start sewing or we have a foot pedal so we can just plug that in and use it in the conventional way. We have a reverse button um, which obviously you just hold down and the machine will get reverse for us. We have a securing button so it will secure a stitch at the start and at the end for us if you want it to. Um, you can set the machine up so at the moment if you look on the screen here we're showing that the needle is going to finish in the fabric when, um, when we stop sewing which is what it's done. If we hold that the machine will give us a little bleep and tell us it's going to finish out the fabric. So depending on what you're sewing, um, you can set that up to, to your preference. So again, that's a really nice feature um, and just, yeah, it's just really nice to use. So I think that's kind of a brief overview of what, um, what the Brother A16 has to offer. Um, we do have one now obviously in the shop for, to come and have a demonstration. So feel free to come and have a play if you're in Birmingham. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.